Hi guys, so today we're doing a quick video on the algorithmic release radar. So what I've done, and if you've been following any of my marketing videos, I've just created a new artist, Does uh, it's called Chicago City, does slap house music. I'll put a link into the video. Um, basically, I've only just released two songs, and the idea is um, what happens when you make something that's really genre specific, that's really focused. Uh, and this is what this is. This is Slap House. It's really focused, really genre specific. And I have no fans. I mean, if you have a look here, I've only been, it's only been about three or four months since these two songs have come out. The audience for these two songs is very low. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> it's it's um, only 27 followers since the song came out. I think, um, you know, around the late April, it it went up from 15 to 27. Anyway, so the whole idea of setting this up is to see what clean data does to Spotify. And it's it's just a really interesting experiment. The songs um, are not the best songs in the world. They're okay, but they're in, they're classic for the genre. So one, what I wanted to show you was the latest song. So the first song got quite a lot of release radar listens, but the second one has got even more <laughs> and just to give you a bit of background i've been doing ads for this song so when the song came out on the 23rd of april i put about five pounds a day into the ads and i did it for about a week so about 30 35 pounds put into the song so if we just go and have a look at the performance of the track so you can see here at the beginning the five pounds went a long way. And, and the reason why that happened, uh, I believe, is first a couple of things. Firstly, the 15 people that followed me from the previous songs listened to this song because they were on my release radar. And yeah, my release radar numbers were pretty high considering I had 15. I had like very similar, maybe 13, 14 release radar listens at that time, which was quite high um so they were clearly waiting for the next song which is good and that's why i think you know uh, spotify ask people to release regularly which is pretty good and is if you're going to make a song and release a song after three or four months they're going to just people just not going to wait for you are they they're going to just go to the next song um the cost per conversion i'm not going to show you the uh facebook um ads but we're talking it was really low i mean we're talking about between so anywhere between seven and ten cents per conversion so that enabled me to get a lot <laughs> I mean we're talking 112 for five dollars that's that's a lot of streams so it was it was relatively successful and the other thing I did was target um, other bands uh, who did music similar to slap house I mean uh, Sp Facebook doesn't really have uh, slap house artists in there like Gowlin or Lucky Luke but it has you know EDM classic EDM uh, artists such as uh, Dead Mouse and Skrillex or whatever. So, you know, I just picked them uh, with the hope that the people that liked those um, artists would be into this. But it, it kind of worked, um, but it did go down over time and the effectiveness of the ad went down. And I think around kind of this time here where we got to 46 streams a day, I didn't even, I wasn't even put paying for ads. It was switched off. So there were people saving the song on their playlists. So it's, it's on 69 playlists. So people saving the songs on the playlist and playing the songs afterwards, which is good. So that was fine. And then on the second week, so I think if we talk about uh, 22nd of April all the way up to the 6th of May, that's two weeks later, we got the boost. So this is what I keep calling, and you may see other videos like this, I call this the Release Radar Algorithmic Boost. And this is where Spotify puts your song on other people's release radars, not your fans, because I certainly don't have 380 followers. You've seen that I've only got 27. Um, so it's put it on quite a lot of release radars. And the reason it does that is because it is so focused in terms of um, who I'm targeting. So if, for example, all of the people that I have targeted, like Dead Mouse, right, the algorithm will work that out and say, well, hold on a sec. 
all of these people are saving the song and putting it on their playlist. They also have playlists with Dead Mouse on it. Um, so let's send this song out via release radar to the release radar of people who have Dead Mouse. Just an example, but you know what I'm saying. So it's going to work that out and it's going to send it and recommend it to others, which is super cool. And that's why so many people want to play the algorithmic game because that's how it works. And sometimes I think I should have put more money in, into the song because maybe it would have been sent to more people, but I really don't know. So the first day it got about 380 and I would say about you know, 350 of that was um, a, a release radar. And similar, obviously less each day. And what we're, what we're seeing here was we're, we're getting anywhere between 150 and maybe 200 um, release radar play, um, streams a day, um, <laughs> which is just ridiculous. And yesterday I got 219, most of those from release radar. So actually it's going, it's going to even more people. And today's Friday, even though this is Thursday, today's Friday. If we look at my homepage, oh, no one's listening right now. Oh, here goes seven. There's quite a few people listening right now. And we're talking about anywhere between, you know, six and 10 people listening right now. So it's still going out to release radars. Whether people are listening or not is another thing, but it's definitely doing its thing. So if we go to the song again, and we just look at the playlists, Obviously, Release Radar is the biggest of the playlists. Let's go to the start of time. And it's it's generated 1.2 thousand streams out of the 2,700 streams. So almost just under 50%, let's say 40%, which is free streams. And these are real people. This is not, you know, you're not going onto some fake playlist. These are real. Um, this playlist here, the Samu Presents, was a Submit Hub success. So I've got about 240 from him. And this Slap House Mix is my own playlist. So people are not just going into my song, they're getting into a Slap House playlist, which is mine, and listening to my song, probably listen to all the other songs on that playlist. So that's kind of like a bonus as well. And yeah, and then there are these all these personalized playlists. So out of... Um, out of I would say four of them were submit hub or mine or release radar and the rest were you know individual personalized playlists so basically what i'm trying to say here is um, i've had much more success even though it's relatively small scale i've had more success and haven't spent a lot of money by being very focused very targeted on a genre on a genre and the, the music is okay it's not the greatest song in the genre I'm hoping that the third song, I'm work, which I'm working on now, is going to be much better. And I might even put a bit more money into it because I'm kind of encouraged by the progress. Um, so the other thing I'm expecting, really, let me just show you here, is that's just one week. I'm, I'm expecting this to happen again next week. And in fact, today's Friday, so I'm, I'm expecting... Um, yeah, I'm expecting more release radars. It's going to be another boost today. And, you know, even though it's not a huge number, 2.7 thousand, I'm thinking I'm going to get another thousand streams by the end of next week. So the other thing that happened um, with the previous song, which was super weird, and I put about the same type of money in this song. I had the same boost, but it wasn't as high. It wasn't as good. Probably the song's not as good. Um, but what happened? Let me just show you the playlist. What happened is it got onto Discover Weekly, <laughs> only for only for a, uh, a few days, and only sixteen streams. So I'm hoping that my new song goes gets on Discover Weekly as well. And let me just change this so we can just see the release radar bit. So this got you know five hundred streams on release radar. The other one got one point two. It's going to probably get up to two thousand. So I'm I'm just hoping this the the new song gets some Discover Weekly love. So yeah, let's see how this goes. I, I will post a follow-up uh, video and we'll yeah check out Chicago City, check out its progress. Let's see how it goes. So thanks very much for watching this video. I wanted to make it short. Probably I've talked a little bit too much. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, 
you know, because I've been working on this for about a year. <laughs> if you've got any questions at all, definitely you know, ask them on the comments um, and subscribe if you want to just see more videos like this. I don't just make marketing videos. I also make uh, tutorial videos and sometimes I post a song online. So thank you very much. Catch you guys later.